Tanith and Ben are actually going to be here in May. They're going to be skating in the show Champions on Ice. And Tanith actually told us she's hoping when they come home, they're going to be introduced as Detroit's own Tanith Belvin and Ben Augusto. That's fitting. And guess what? I got my hands on this uh, book, Eric Smith from the Heart. Where'd you get that? This is the first copy, fresh off the presses, and I think it's going to be a bestseller. Ooh. Ooh. Well, I don't know about bestseller, but it is nice to have that collection of, oh, from the heart stories over the years. And, well, no, no New York Times bestseller. And I you doubt that Oprah is going to be beating down the door to get you the book know. either. But, but it's nice for those of us who remember those stories to have them all collected and under one hardcover. The idea for a collection of From the Heart stories in print actually came from you guys, the viewers of From the Heart. And then, I guess it was a couple of years ago, I got a call from the folks down at Huron River Press in Ann Arbor. In his book has a wonderful way of capturing the stories of people, the unsung heroes, the people who have done wonderful things. Hard to believe, but earlier this month, printer Thompson Shore delivered the first 5,000 copies to bookstores all around our area. It's a little weird seeing your face on the front of a book. The employees here all know uh, Channel 7 and Eric Smith. Everybody was really involved and, and excited about the work. You know, I'm often asked if I have a favorite story among the From the Hearts. They're all really special in their own way, but, you know, I am a softie for some of the old things about Detroit, the traditions. I think walking through Tiger Stadium with Ernie Harwell before some of the last games down at the corner, well, that's just a great memory. And the Pablo boats, who can forget them? So sadly drifting into history now, tied to those rickety old docks downriver. That one still tugs at the heartstrings, I guarantee you that. And I guess you know, one that really hit me right square in the heart. I'll never forget the visit to the foothills of the Rocky Mountains with some kids with cancer who managed to laugh and play together at a place called Camp Make a Dream, a place to whom this book is dedicated. Well, selfishly, I hope the book sells a million copies because my proceeds will go to the cancer camp. And if you get a copy, turn to page 155, and you'll remember why it's so important to save the crunk. Somebody once said history is often made in some very strange places. Down a flight of stairs, through a locked gray door, you slip into history, boxing history for this is the crunk a steamy, sweat-smelling, wreck-building basement that, for a fleeting but wonderful time, was the penthouse suite of boxing's golden pyramid. It seems to be a, a spirit here that I can't put my hands on. Boxers will box here at the Crunk Gym and box better than they will at any other place. That's perfect. Emmanuel Stewart has done things most of us could only imagine, even if we hit the lottery. But after nearly losing it all, his feet are back firmly on the ground. Or perhaps we should say the mat, where it all began. Because Emmanuel Stewart is back at the crunk. That's it. That's it. Real simple. We spend a lot of time back here, particularly with our amateur boxers. Because that's what the, uh, really the heart of our program is about, our amateur boxers. And there's a lot of other Thomas Hanges now. And also, here, but there's just no one that's spending the time here. They got to be found. Yeah. They have to be found, yes. Good. Perfect. He says it's the kids, kids like Octavio Lara, that are important now. He dances with the man child inside the ropes and looks into his eyes and sees the future. And even though I've been successful, travel all over the world, I still like being at home. I'm more excited down here, particularly with the kids more so than with the professional fighters. No place like home. No place like home. Now, if you want to get your hands on this fabulous book, all you have to do is go to a Borders or to a Barnes & Noble, and you can get more information on our website at WXYZ.com. Yeah. Want to have some fun? Come on out. We'll be signing books at several local bookstores, so come on down, and we'll be right back.